on planes, trains, and automobiles, and sometimes even boats and ships. Now we're trying our luck with RVs and vans. We're Bravo too. Come with us to see what kind of trouble we can get into, and hopefully out of, as we continue our travels. But buckle up, because safety first. So we made it to Caprock Canyon State Park in Texas last night, and we actually uh, got there at a reasonable hour. Um, we had time to set up uh, the campsite, and uh, we were really pretty surprised at uh, how good a condition it was in. Uh, you know, it even had a lean-to and a picnic table and a place for Donnie to hang out. There weren't too much scrub brush, but uh, it gave us a chance to kind of take a look and, and reorganize the, the uh, van a little bit and set up Becky's workstation so she had a chance to get some work done, uh, including with her IP phone. And we had uh, good internet, so uh, all was good. Hey, everybody, we are on day four. We're heading towards New Mexico, a RV park. It's actually our first RV park, Santa Rosa, New Mexico. If you look in Santa Rosa, there actually is a state park, but believe it or not, it is closed for the winter. Uh, so we were kind of disappointed in that, but we really don't want to drive much further than Santa Rosa. So we're going to be stopping at an RV park, and we'll let you know how that is. It actually has laundry, according to um, RV Life's website. So yeah, maybe do some laundry, maybe not. Um, Cap Rock Canyon is where we're just leaving. It is beautiful in its own way. The it's it's dry, it's scrub pine. I don't even know if they're pine, but this is what it looked like to me. Um, prairie dog holes everywhere, and that's what what Donnie got to see on my walk with him. Oh, I wish I had had my phone for that. Uh, we came across a field that was full of prairie dog holes and prairie dogs sticking their heads up. But they were frozen. Donnie was frozen. They looked at each other. And then the prairie dogs started chirping. And Donnie had no idea what the chirping was. What are these funny looking squirrels? <laughs> he, just, he just didn't know. He's like, I see something frozen but not moving. They were doing a great job not moving. And so then you had this chirping. He's like, what is this chirping? And he just, I think he would have, honestly, I think he would have stood there for half an hour. But Bill would have started to worry. Even though we did have radios with us, we always take comms with us, and we were worried there wasn't going to be a lot of phone service, so we made sure to take our um, GMS. our GMS radios, and Bill, Bill talked more about that as a way to make sure you can always stay in touch um, with each other, no matter what. Um, um, the Honey Flat um, campground loop is just basically shaped like a C, but it has nice paths. Um, to get to the restroom so you don't have to walk too far anywhere. Um, lots of prairie dogs. I saw a family of deer this morning um, in the sunrise, as was the sunset last night. It's one of those ones that just kind of goes on forever where the sky just goes to blue to pink um, and then at night just black with so many stars and of course me not having my phone. Um, became an issue because I didn't get a chance to take any pictures, but I did take a picture and we will include it of one of the uh, bison scat because it was so large and honestly brand new and at the campsite next to us. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you put everything up. Um, Cap Rock Canyons has 90 miles of bike and hiking trails. There are a lot of people with bikes here. Uh, they also have horse trails, so there's a lot of people who bring their horses even in equestrian camping area. So I think if you're interested in that kind of stuff, it's a great place to come. Um, but it's so funny how different uh, Western Texas is from Eastern Texas. I think back to Caddo Lake, um, and it was a, that was like a cypress swamp, and here we are in uh, rough and tumble Western Texas that looks like uh, something from a John Wayne movie. Um, but it was enjoyable. I was able to work some this morning because Bill does a great job keeping me connected. I've been able to take phone calls from clients and I'll be making phone calls to clients on the road um, as we go. And he'll explain all about that in another video, how it is that he's managing to keep me connected um, in some places remote as all of this. Well, day four has started. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to, to say this, 
But we had a, a little, we got a little bit of a late start because there was a traffic jam of water buffalo. Hey, when a bison decides to cross the road, you let him cross. You're certainly not gonna get closer than, than we are, although we're probably closer than the 50 feet. We have no idea that the bison were, we're ambling this time of day. He is tapped. He is number 208. All right. Well, hey, number 208. Nice to see you. But um, they were, were, you're not supposed to get within 50 feet of them. Well, this one cat decided, sorry, not a cat, this one bison decided it was going to jog alongside the road with me. So I had to gun it just to get out of the way. Uh, he was so close, I could read the tag on his ear, number 208. So, 208, peace out. <laughs> but uh, last night, uh, we had uh, the, the noisiest thing that we heard was the uh, pack of coyotes. Uh, that was a, a new one for us. Uh, but I, I will say this, the restrooms themselves, I have never been in a state park that had such disgusting and unkept bathroom as, as that. I was really disappointed. Uh, the, the urinal, the, the urinal, there was only one, was out of service. Eh, all right, you know, maintenance problems, I, I get it. Um, then the first stall had, it looked like a bloody mess. I don't know what, I have no idea what happened. Maybe it was a medical emergency or something. I don't know. Uh, the second stall, somebody was in and I hope he was all right. Uh, because the third stall had uh, feces all on the floor, everywhere. I mean, I had to pick and choose where I was going to stand just so I could, uh, you know, uh, do uh, number one. I, I wasn't doing number two there. Uh, but it was, um, I was really disappointed. Uh, I'll let Beck describe her side. She actually got a, a shower in, so she'll be able to give you a lot more uh, details about that. But uh, And I know Bill described an unpleasant experience with the men's side of the uh, bathroom at Cap Rock Canyons in the Honey Flat area. The ladies was, honestly, it was fine. It was clean. Um, one of the one of the showers was out of order, but again, that just happens. Um, another shower didn't have much water pressure, um, and since I was washing my hair, I decided not to use that one. I used the other one that had a lot of water pressure, but it kind of came into the area, so I'm really glad I was prepped for showering where I was able to hang everything up. I used a microfiber towel to dry off, and I tell you that only because it's a weird experience. It does a great job drying you off. It really does, and it doesn't even feel wet afterwards, but you know, it's not that fluffy towel that you're used to from home. Um, and then I did an old, I want to say it was Working Girl was the movie. Bravo uh, One brought his own fluffy towel. Yeah, yeah, Bravo One absolutely brought his own fluffy towel. But I flipped the hair, the hand dryer in the restroom area upside down and used it to partially dry my hair. Because it was still about 38 degrees and I was going to be walking outside with a soaking wet head. Didn't want to do that. Right now we're on our way to Amarillo. Uh, and I'm sure there's a... Uh, Something about uh, Amarillo to Johnson City uh, by Darius Rucker song. I don't know. It's in my head. But uh, it's not Amarillo to Johnson City, Tennessee. <laughs> well, it was Amarillo from Amarillo, Texas to Johnson City, Tennessee. Was it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I guess. I guess we're, we're gonna, gonna have, have to, to look up the. We're gonna have to look up the song, and I, I don't know if we'll get dinged if we put a little clip of it in the in, in the video. But uh, we'll we'll do what we can. Uh, anyways, uh, good night's sleep. Uh, it, it dropped down, uh, got a little colder, but we put up uh, a, a little bit more insulation uh, by way of putting a uh, blackout curtain, an insulated blackout curtain, uh, on the uh, back panel wall and uh, try and get a picture of that. It, it, Becky already, I think she, she did get a picture, uh, which uh, helped uh, Becky so she didn't get quite so cold. Um, Donnie slept without his sweater on 
and I would say the coldest it was was this morning. Uh, we, About we, 36 this morning. It woke up. We were Donnie woke us up, and uh, he went to sleep till 7:15. Uh, we were kind of uh, surprised. Uh, and over to the right, there looks like to be another herd of bison. Uh, it's gonna be cows, or maybe cows. I don't know. Uh, they might be cows. Well, I, I don't know. I think they're cows, babe. You're yeah. just seeing bison everywhere. I'm just seeing bison everywhere. That's a herd of Angus. Yeah. Herd of Angus. All right. We'll see you at McDonald's later, brother. Oh, All right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, um, we are Oscar, Mike, and uh, so far, you're so good. Everything, uh, we are on day four, and uh, everything seems to be working. Uh, we got, the, uh, got some hot meals in us yesterday. Uh, we cooked, fired up some uh, cheeseburgers, and... Uh, fired up some coffee on the propane this morning so first time using the propane extender cable uh, see the link below to your Amazon <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we have uh, uh, everything uh, so far so good so we're on our way well that's uh, all I've got to, for right now so uh, remember safety first so be careful out there peace out Get that squirrel.